Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So, last time we went through the first half of the Pit of 100 Trials, got a ton of level ups, and got a sack that gave us double the inventory space. So that's pretty cool. We also made a ton of money, so before we go to the third world, I'm gonna probably buy some stuff in Rogueport. Mostly badges. But we'll see what the weird peddler guy has for sale. Alright, let's see what this guy has. Ooh, the Hammerman badge, that's alright. Attack FX G, that's decent. Yeah, I'll get that. Hey yo, man, that's the Attack FX G badge. Yes, it is. Now we have our hammer sounding like Peach Giggling. Alright, what else is for sale? Simplifier, Pretty Lucky P. Happy Flower is probably the best out of all of those, but it's still not great. Yeah, sorry. Guess I'll buy the Hammerman badge. I can just afford it. <laughs> Hammerman's a one-of-a-kind badge, so... I don't mean to keep punching him in the face. Yeah, the Hammerman badge, you lose the... It increases hammer power by one, but you lose the ability to jump. Not great. But again, one-of-a-kind badge, so I want to make sure I get that. Also, let's stop by the Pianta Parlor. Hello, Lava. I'll return the Tempiantas I've been holding for you, Mario, okay? Oh, Mario, that card! You got a member's card! Okay, I'll prepare the minigame you can play with that member's card. How exciting! You can now play the paper game! So these are all the prizes now. Ooh, man. We get some good prizes. I'll play a couple of the games. Alright, so we got the playing game and the paper game. I'll start with the paper game, because that's the easiest one to win. Okay, it'll cost 10 piantas to play, okay? Yep. So every game costs uh, 10 piantas to play. Good luck! So if we do well at this game, we can win 20 piantas, giving us the 10 piantas game. The paper game! So basically, race to the end of the hallway. The fans turn on, in which case you need to turn sideways, otherwise you'll get blown off the stage. The fans go off pretty frequently, so it's not too bad. always keep an eye on the fans, both the background fans and the foreground fans. And yeah, it's that easy. Finish in first place. So if you get in first place, you get 15, or if you get in first place, you get 20 piantas, actually. So we just gained 10 piantas from that. So that's the best way to grind for more piantas, because it's super easy to win. Thank you for playing! Come again soon, but don't forget to rescue Princess Peach! Now we'll play the plane game. Okay, it'll cost you 10 piantas to play, yep. Good luck! So this is the plane game. Here you turn into a paper airplane and basically you try to get as far as you can. And also trying to land on the score multipliers and avoid the score decrements. You can also pick up piantas that are lying out in the middle of the air. Like that one and that one. Ah, almost hit the times two. Times two gives you twice the piantas. 
So I went a distance of 12 and picked up 3 Piantas, so I got 15 Piantas. It's a bit faster than the paper game, but you don't get as many uh, Piantas from it. But that's okay. I can grind on those in a later episode. Alright, I'm gonna just... Ooh, the refund badge could be good, but I'm just gonna get Cake Mix. A lot of some some really good badges are available as uh, trading prizes later on in the game. But for now, I'm just going to get the cake mix and cook it up. And also check the lottery results. Mm. Loving my stats. Cook up my cake mix for me. And we get a moose cake, a cake made by Zest T, replenishes 15 FP. Good FP replenisher. All right. Enough stalling, it's time to go to Glitzville. I know everybody's just begging for it. So we're going up here. Hello, Mr. Cheap Cheap. I have one ticket to Glitzville. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Yes. Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. Remember, there are star pieces behind everything. Just about. Now, unfortunately, you can't enter the forest over there. That would be a cool place to hide something. Nope, we're entering the blimp. Now that is a blimp. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. This music is so happy. Also, the blimp reminds me of the cheap cheap blimp in Mario Kart 64 when it spits out your trophy. There's Glitzville! Basically, Cloud City, but cooler, because it's like uh, made for tourist uh, tourism. Hey, look, people are putting up balloons. That means it's a happy place. <laughs> and look at that happy chain shop face. Welcome to Glitzville, everyone. Well, no doubt about it, this is Glitzville! Can you believe it actually floats? Well, let's get to it, huh, Mario? Let's find that crystal star as fast as we can! Well, we can dawdle a little bit first. Yep, this is Glitzville! It's so exotic, it feels like we're in another country! This is like an entertainment hub that attracts visitors from all over the world! The Glitz Pit is obviously the main attraction. That's where fighters duke it out. To the right, the fresh juice shop, the hot dog stand to the left, where to first? There's also the souvenir shop, don't forget about that. Glitzville aims out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. <laughs> you rode the blimp here, didn't you? Boy, I envy you. I'm dying to ride that vein, but air travel makes me yak. How'd you get up here in the first place, then? 
Oh, it's a phone. Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Croop, the mayor of Petalburg. How's Croops? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello! Huh? Who are you? Prank calls are uncool. <laughs> Hi, I am the 987,034th caller. Did I win the free tickets? <laughs> Mario, Professor Frankly here. Be careful out there. That's very nice. Hello? No, we don't deliver. Oh. Hi, brother. Luigi here. How are you holding up? Hi, Mario. This is Punio. Stop by every now and then, will you? Okay, there's one really funny one. The local time is now... Snack time? The weather in Glitzville today will be sunny with a chance of more sun. It's above the clouds, stupid. <laughs> That's the one I was looking for. So the souvenir shop is, um... Interesting, to say the least. We've got some unusual stuff here. We've got Earthquakes, Thunderbolts, Power Punches, Repel Capes, Point Swaps. This is the only point in the game where you can get Point Swaps. Or at least this is the only shop you can buy them at. Swap to Partners HP and FP, which is... Kind of weird. And then Super Shrooms. Hey, hot dog guy. Hello there, you customer! The aroma of yum is in the air is the specialty of Glitzville, Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins for one. Will you buy one? I can't afford one. That's too bad for you. You come back again. Yep, this is Glitzville. Oh. I can't tattle on him. Well, hello there, sir. I'm ma'am. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. So this is Glitzville, hmm? Not a bad place, if a bit on the tawdry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. Daddy, I'm hungry and I want to eat a hot dog and I want to eat it right now! Oh my. What a family of bob -oms. That's Gold Bob, the bob -om. He's the head of a wealthy business, Gold Bob Intins. He's got buckets of ducats, they say. I guess some folks are just good with money. He's solid gold, apparently. That's, Sil that's Sylvia the bob -omb. She's super wealthy. She's got a real high society air about her. Even her perfume smells like money. Really? That's Bub the bob -omb. He's a from a very rich family, so he's kind of spoiled. Still, kids are kids, no matter how big their trust fund is, aren't they? You know it. Oh, hey. What are you doing here? I haven't seen your face around here, and I know I'd remember a stash like that. Listen, guy, if you want to see a match, head on inside. That's the glitz bit. Hmm, there's a switch right here. Nice. Now we can get up on the roof. Treasure chest. Ooh, the Power Plus P badge boosts your partner's attack power by one. That's a really good badge. Very expensive to equip, but really good. And there's an airplane panel up here. I wonder where this will take us. Takes you up on the hot dog stand, but there's nothing you can do there. Also, Shine Sprite here, but it's just out of our reach. What we can do is move a Goomella. Invisible block there. Star piece back there. There are star pieces of plenty. All right, let's enter the glitz pit. <laughs> I forgot about this pineapple guy. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobodies. Sorry, move it or lose it. Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. That's a local reporter. I'm pretty sure he covers the fight scene. He's such a veteran, he even directs the rookie cameraman next to him. Wow. Good for him, I guess. Um, hi. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. That's Ms. Mao's the thief. She jets off to exotic locales to judge off to hunt for rare badges. 
The fact that she's here means the Glitz Pit must have something special. That's true. Oh, hello. Well, hello there, you big whirly hunk of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion Rockhawk. Toodaloo. Oh, really? Sorry, bub, but authorized purse people only past this point. If you're looking to see a match, head on through those main doors. Okay. This place is all nice, high and tech and fancy. Oh man. These are some interesting combatants, aren't they? Whoa, totally awesome! Check it out, Mario! Someone's about to catch a beating up there! That's right! Ugh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock! Oof! Stay down, pincushion! You don't want more of this! Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy? Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby! Tell you what, do about a million push-ups, then come see Uncle Rock Hawk again! I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to Mama again. Hooray, champ! That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there who can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running off in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby! Rock Hawk is the champ! Ha <laughs> Whoa, well. Whoa, look, Mario! There, on the champ's belt! Isn't that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it totally is! Look at its sparkle! It's gotta be a crystal star! Why would that be in a sweaty old pit like this? What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal that nutcase's belt, can we? This stinks. What do we do? We battle our way to the top. There you go! You and I are like totally on the same exact wavelength. Crack a few heads, take a few names, become champ, then nab that belt. So let's get busy, huh? I guess we gotta become official battlers first, right? Ooh, I'm kinda getting stoked about this. Let's go find out who runs this shindig. It's clearly not the pineapple. Hey, Mr. Mustache Guy, where's Prince Mush? Uh, who? Hi, we're here because my son is a big fan of the former champ, Prince Mush. But, it looks like he's not around here anymore. And we came all this way just to see him. Bit of a crying shame, really. Aw, oh, that's sad. Hey, dude. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you'd better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Actually, it's pretty easy to miss. Is it here? This is the minor league room, locker room, buddy. Sorry, you can't go in there. Sorry, fighters only, bub. No one else is admitted. Well, this is dumb. This is a major league locker room, bud. Sorry, you can't go in there. Darn it! It's another major league, never fight room. Another minor league rock locker room. But there's the last stand badge down there. Drops Mario's damage in half when he's in danger. Woo! That's what I was looking for. Alright, time to go to the office. This is the champion's room. Only the champion may enter. Sorry, regulations. It's locked. You can't open it. Of course. This is the room, right? What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Oh, alright, go on in. Mr. Grub is just inside. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office! Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Hooey! That do change a fainer too, son! I always got time for an up-and-comer! Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and a rare and to go! I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my tastes, but I'm willing to give you a shot. 
Now point me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? <laughs> Darn, Skippy. All right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot or for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way for fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite! Now, I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me up for life. You read me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. <laughs> yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chief! Here, let us have a little walk and talk. Come on, now! <laughs> I like Grubba. I also like how he's like a tumble bubble creature. Look at this. Now, how do you like this, pard? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe! You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself, and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son? Huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become the champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son! Wouldn't be worth it if there were no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, Pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be the champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty-bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. You just jot your name here, okay? Sign me up. You signed the contract. Best thing you ever did, son. Now, your Mario ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pard, it lacks a little punch as a fighter's name, get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hooey! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez! Hoo! Ain't that a beaut? <laughs> Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name of that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone here will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. <laughs> well, now that we got the business side out of the way... Jolene, could you come in here a minute, darling? Oh, hello there. Yes, sir? You want to see me, sir? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Now, she is an interesting-looking toad. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes. Period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Well, um, this is... a dump? Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log into this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubba will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log in with A. Then pick Reserve a Match. Welcome to the Automated Match Reservation System. What is your command? If we view the rankings, you needn't know this now, but your current rank is 20th, the very lowest rank. Now select Reserve a Match. Okay, fine. Reserve a Match. 
Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fists dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops to the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11, if you get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Well, if we're going against Goombas, I'm getting coops out. Hey, dude. <laughs> I do believe I'll go out on my regular stroll soon. Oh, hey. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the rain. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. They're Goombas! How hard are they gonna be? Squaring off next, folks, are the hoppin' hardheads, the Goomba Bros! And a newcomer with a hankerin' for hammerin', the great Gonzalez! The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. <laughs> How do you do, Goombas Bros? How are y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? <laughs> are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call for an ambulance for him right now, just to save time later. I love Grubba's charisma. Hot diggity dang, fight fans! There's the great Gonzalez now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late to like he owns the place. Whoo! Okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk. Oh, okay. That's how it's gonna be, huh? <laughs> yeah, serves you right. Appeal to the crowd at least once. Hey, that's no fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Ah, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Alright, so yeah, you have those special battle conditions for everyone, so let's just do appeal. Yay! Now we just have to beat him up, which we will with Power Shell. Goodbye. <laughs> so yeah, the first several fights are really easy. They get a bit trickier later on, though. <laughs> Mario's electric. Ugh! The Great Gonzalez wins! Tell me, son, what was this first taste of victory right? like? That battle was savage. Uh, that fight? What a joke! I'll tell you what I just saw, folks! A whooping! This kid's got skills! We got ourselves a new hero! Let's hear it for him, folks! Yeah, the Great Gonzalez! <laughs> Grub is probably my favorite part of this world. He's hilarious. <laughs> Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd. You know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good. I'll be on my way, then. Miss Jolene here will give you your fight money. See ya. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You got free coins. Mario's ranking rose to 19. The next fight will not be set up until you select reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? I'm King K, man. Just a Bush League scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. 
Hey, so why don't you meet the gain, huh? This here's Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, Bomb. As Miss Jolene was saying, you'd better, Bomb, obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher-ranked foes, Bomb. If you can't clear them, you, Bomb, end up battling a lower-ranked fighter, Bomb. You can't climb the Bomb ranks fighting the bottom of the barrel, ba bomb Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, Bomb. Advice is always useful, ba bomb Right, man, whatever. Anyway, the lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. And this gale ass guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Clefter. Grrr! Clefter no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Clef Dog. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. You need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me gonna eventually square off, so good luck, man. So yeah, this is an interesting world where it's basically just fight a bunch of guys, get to the top. But it's really cool. And it even gets just cooler and cooler as it goes on. So I'm gonna restore my HP and FP, I think. Yeah, so the bed here and in the Major League room does not actually restore your star power. Alright, let's reserve the next match. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez! Fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 18 in the Glitz Pit, the KP Koopas! Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you three times, okay? It's just so dang boring when a match is too one-sided, you hear what I'm saying to you? Now get in there and kick some behind! Hey dog, looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man, to both of us. You know it. That's King K, a fighter. His shell's yellow, but I think he's just a basic Koopa. He seems like a genuinely good guy, Mario. Plus, I dig the way he talks. Oh yeah. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Alright, so we've got to let them damage us three times. Okay. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Koopas. We aren't going to lose to scrubs like you. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were going to square off, and now it's on. Get re ready to battle! Take up damage from your opponent three times. Fun. Yep, these are separate enemies from regular Koopas, so tattle on them. That's a KP Koopa. It's a Koopa Troopa of a slightly different color. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Looks like its abilities are just like any Koopa, so he ought to be a piece of cake. Don't go easy just because you know King K, Mario. That's what friends are for. So we gotta take damage one more time. Later, King K. That's a KP Paratroopa. It's a cape it's a Koopa Paratroopa of a different color. Max HP is four, attack is two, and defense is one. His attacks are the same as your average garden variety Koopa Paratroopa. So just do the same thing as always. Stomp on it, flip it, and drop its defense to zero. My head bonk is pretty effective against it too. Come on, let's get him! Alright, we took our damage. Later! We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez!
C. No biggie. Be prepared for a lot of that. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, we received four coins this time. Mario's ranking rose to 18. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, way to hand out a beatdown out there, man. You beat me straight up. <laughs> Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Oh, yep, Bandy Andy's gone. Alright, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be continuing with the Glitz Pit, and things will probably get a little more interesting. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.